welcome. And uh, so, let's just pull up the charts here. And what we've got here is a Euro US dollar 60 minute chart. And what I wanna share with you today is the simplest method in the world for drawing support and resistance, fundamentals. The, the only stuff you ever need. You don't really need anything else. This is a 60 minute chart. You can do this on any time frame chart you want. And anybody who argues with you about what the best time frame chart is, is a dummy and don't listen to them. And they're lying to you and they're bad people. Okay. <laughs> uh, what we're looking for are inverted Vs or upright Vs like this right here. You can see where price dipped lower and then rebounded. And then you can see over here that price dipped lower and rebounded again. And that it happens in the general same area. And we can draw a line in that area to designate that this happened. And that becomes a level of support. Now all of trading can be reduced to the concept that price is moving from one level to another. Price is always moving from one level to another. All of trading is simply this, whether you trade with support and resistance or divergence or the Fibonacci spiral of death or the ludicrous iron condor program of America incorporated, make condor trading great again. Whatever it is that you do, I don't really care. It doesn't matter. Price is always just moving from one price level to another price level or one volatility level to another volatility level. That's all it ever is. And what we want to do is put levels in place. And the simplest form of these levels are horizontal support and resistance. This V represents an area where price dropped but could drop no further or price dropped again but could drop no further. And that meant that it's a level of support or a place where price ought to stop. But if it doesn't stop, it will break through. So once you have a support level in place, you have an entry level and you have a profit target level all in one. Meaning if price eventually later on breaks through and below this level, that's an entry for a trade. Or if price breaks below a level from up above and starts to fall, then this level becomes a profit target. Because once again, price is always just doing one thing, moving from one level to another. And that's why support and resistance is so basic, it's so fundamental, and it's essentially the only thing that you ever need. So those are horizontal support levels, but you can also have horizontal resistance levels. Look at this area right here. That's a nice inverted V, and so is that. And they basically kind of happen, well, there's three of them really. They basically happen all around the same area, all around the world. And that means that we could, for example, later on after we've drawn that level, see that price breaks above and starts to move upward. That could be an entry as soon as price breaks above, or a candle closes above that level. That's an entry. Well, let's just keep moving forward in time and see if we can draw some lines. Now we see here that price breaks below the level that we drew. This is exactly what we were waiting for. It's exactly what we wanted. And when this happens, that means that price might fall all the way down to our support level, which is a profit target. So this could be a sell entry with a stop loss above this level up here in the top and a profit target, a PT, down here below. Now, I don't know if that's going to work, but that's exactly what we could do. And if we're feeling a little bit anxious or concerned or we want to be more conservative, we could draw a, a intermediary level of support or resistance at a level in between. And we would increase the probability that price would reach that level. But it's not always going to do that. And as you can see here, just because price moves below a level doesn't mean it's going to go all the way to either of these profit targets. And that's why it's so important to have some kind of a protective stop in place so we had that intermediate level of support and resistance and it just, it didn't work. But you could see that there are multiple hits of that level here, 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 
and this area and this area again. So this area has been hit a bunch of times and price has stopped at that level a bunch of times. I love that this is now like an A level, like a brilliant level. And if price can break through that again, and you can see price will just touch it and bounce right off of it. If price can break down below that level, that's gonna be really important and we're gonna really like that. Uh, before any of that happens, you can see here that price reaches a high. Look at this. So let's get another level in place. We'll make sure that this is a dark level like our other ones are, just to make sure that they look the same. And we'll just move forward here in time as slowly as possible. Oh, and we break above that level. So when we break above this level, that becomes a trade. That becomes a buy trade because we broke above our level. But where's our target in this case? You'll notice that we don't have one really. Price does go up. Well, I bet you that if we go back in time, once price breaks above that level, we can see a variety of areas where we might take profit. And I'll just go back in time and we'll, and we'll draw some of those. Areas where price previously and historically stopped after it went up. Oh, look at this. This is a great level because look at this. I didn't go back far enough originally, but it's clear that price stopped at this level. So let's use that level. So let's say that we had an, a, a situation where a trade fired off right here. We could then go back in time and get a level from a previous historical level. Let's move forward in time and see if we can find example. Oh, look at that, we break back down below this level right here, and I bet we go down here eventually. Oh, look at this, we have another level that we can draw right up here. So what happens if the level is just about in the right place? What if it's just about in the right place, but not perfect? And they don't line up exactly. What if like a candle shadow or wick lines up nicely with a candle body over here? Well, then that's a great place to draw a level right there. Hey, it's Rob Booker, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. If you want more great content and you're on the Booker Wealth site, go to the bottom right of this page and just watch more videos. I got a ton of them. Or if you're on the YouTube channel, just hit that subscribe button and the bell and I'll let you know when I make new content. I love you all. Have the best day ever.